Hi, I'm Melanie Chacon with Tooele TV, and standing next to me today is Mr. Carpenter. And do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm Glenn Carpenter. I'm the drama teacher at Stansbury High School. All right. And how long have you been here? Um, since the school opened, so this is my fifth year here. Okay, great. So today we're focusing on a Shakespeare play, Romeo and Juliet, right? And you're having a feast downstairs. Can you tell us about the fundraiser that's going on? Um, we're doing a renaissance feast or a royal feast. It's a fundraiser for the kids um, to help them earn their way to the Utah Theater Association conference in January. Sort of like the Festival of Kings at Excalibur mm -hmm. where you come in and there's the king and there's the beggars and all that stuff. And then the kids are performing all the scenes that they took to the Shakespeare competition this year. Yeah, the kids look like they're having a lot of fun yeah, downstairs. They, they really are. Yeah. So how many kids are in your drama club or, or class, I guess? I have probably with all my classes close to 150 kids in drama. That is so many. That's great though. A lot of kids. Yeah. Um, how many shows do you guys or plays do you guys do a year? We do a total of five shows a year. We do one play, two musicals, and then we do either two musical reviews or this year in musical theater we're doing a children's musical in December and then we're doing a musical review in the spring. Okay. Can you tell us about what your classes consist of? Um, the way I teach theater with my intermediate and advanced class we read plays and then we do acting exercises out of the plays we read. So I really do teach literature as well as acting. Um, my beginning theater class that I do is an introduction to everything in theater. So we do a little bit of playwriting, we do a little bit of children's theater, we do monologues, we do scenes. But then I, like for instance this year in Intermediate, we are teaching the Stanislavski technique. Um, so it's being the character and things like that. And then in advanced drama, we're dealing more with Meisner technique. So the kids really are getting a rounded education in drama and in acting, and it's helping them advance in college. Um, one of the things that I found, and it's, I think I read it in US News the other day, um, people with a theater degree are number eight on the top 10 degrees to have because a theater degree can be translated into so many different fields. How do we get um, members of the community to help you guys out as far as funding? I never turn down donations. <laughs> um, I don't get funding from the district. Mm -hmm. Everything that I bring in supports my drama program. So we're pretty much a self-sustaining program. Mm -hmm. So I sell tickets to bring in money. We do sponsors and things like that. I'm always, we do fundraising as well. One of the reasons that we do the Renaissance Feast and things like that is I would love to not ever have to sell cookie dough again. <laughs> um, teachers in the state of Utah have to do fundraisers. We just have to. Um, we all hate it, but it's, it's a necessary evil. Great. Well, we're really excited for Romeo and Juliet, and thank you so much for joining us and for talking to us about this great program that you teach. So, Romeo and Juliet. Yep. All right. So, Jonathan, can you tell me about the play that happened a couple weeks ago? Uh, a couple weeks ago, we had a competition for Shakespeare. Uh, we went up to SUU. They throw this Shakespeare festival every year. Uh, a bunch of schools come to compete, and uh, they just... I like I guess they just put out a bunch of like scenes uh, songs they do madrigals scenes for ensemble scenes uh, and then we also get to go see plays up there and it was fun that's great good. Yeah. good so Paige what are you guys doing here tonight tonight we are doing a Shakespearean Renaissance feast it's just a fun gathering it's a big benefit it's lots of fun all right and you're also gonna put on some skits from your play yes from the competition we're doing um, a song and a dance and then a few scenes all right great well thank you for joining me you guys I'm here with Logan McBride. He's a student at Stansbury High, and he's also in the play that's going on in a few weeks. Um, Logan, can you tell me your part in the play? I am portraying the prince. All right. And can you tell me about the Shakespeare play? Well, Romeo and Juliet is the story of two family houses who are feuding with each other. They've been at war with each other for years and years. And so the story is that their two children fall in love and so that's why they're star-crossed lovers and so there's conflictions because their two families hate each other except for Romeo and Juliet and so all of these complications are coming in and there's some humor in it there's some tragedy in it and it's just a great show you you beggar you have been annoying my guests I am not a you executioners take him to the stop the 
Please, we won. Go get money. You're not going to get me out, buddy. You're going to get me out. <laughs> 